Hi, this is Russell Sanar from teachertrainingvideos.com. This is going to be a really quick video that's going to show you how you can make your Moodle site function more like a website. There are some tricks you can do that will make your Moodle site seem as if it's a website where you don't have to have loads and loads of links on the page, but you can use buttons to click and open up different pages. I'm going to reveal the secret here, sit back, really quick video, but this really can change the way you create your content in Moodle. So we're looking here at a course that I built in collaboration with Nile, that's the Norwich Institute of Language Education. And what I've done here, I'm, just, I'm on the course, and if I come down to the content and I click on any of the units, it opens up another window, gives a quick introduction to that particular unit, and then if I click here, it takes me into the content. Now if you look at the way that the content is organized on the page as well, if we scroll down to the bottom, for example, and we want to go to the next unit and we click here, again it just kind of feels like a web page there are actually no links I'm always clicking on buttons to move around the course and even if I want to get back to the beginning of the course I use a button so how do I do that so what I'm going to show you is the trick that I use to actually do that now here we're looking at a course that I recently built uh, or I'm actually building at the moment and it's a Camtasia course and if you look uh, it, it, we still haven't finished the opening pages but basically what you've got here is title there'll be a little bit of text and then you've got a button to click on and when you click on that button you actually just come to the content and we will have a back button to move back again afterwards now how do I do this well what I actually do so there are no links on the page there is actually no activities or resources on the page is that I actually add all the activities and resources to a unit at the bottom so I've got an extra unit that I'm not actually going to show to the students but it's here that I put all of the content so to do this basically I need to do two things first of all I need to create the content so I'm gonna add a new resource in unit 6 or topic 6 of the course and in this case I'm simply going to use a page which is one of the ones that I use a lot so I'm going to click on page now I won't add any content into the page so I'm just going to put here simply unit for content and this is where the content will go so here we'll actually go a video uh, we'll put that in later on but simply to make that clear then I'm going to click once I've done that I can just click on save and return to course so I've created my content okay which is going to be unit 4 now all I need to do is to add my button so I come up to here and I'm just going to edit the kind of header that you get on every single block on Moodle. So I click here, add topic. And what I'm going to do here is simply add, I normally write a description and I'm going to add a button. Just to speed up the process, I'm simply going to add the button. So I'm going to go to my files. I've already created a button that we can use for unit four. So I just grab the button, it's called Unit 4 Content, hopefully it's somewhere here, there it is. Click on that, open that, uh, bring that onto the, um, upload that into Moodle, give that a title, and then add that onto the screen. So we've now added the button, but now the important thing is that that button is clickable. So I just want to point out how we're going to do this. We come back and we right click over the unit content the actual file uh, in this case it's a page and I copy link address then I come back to unit 4 click on edit edit topic and then simply click onto that button and add a link and I'm going to set it to open in another window so now this is a clickable button that's actually going to open content that's in unit 6. However, the participants, the students will never see unit 6. So for them, it will feel like a new web page is simply opening. And that's really the trick, trick that I use. Let's just go back and test that. So I've got unit 4 here. Uh, if I click on that, it will actually open another page and take me to unit 5. And obviously, normally there would be a video there and I will also add a button at the top that allow you to click back and go back to the content as well and that's how I do it 
Hi, this is Russell Sandler from teachertrainingvideos.com. I really hoped you liked that tip on Moodle. Please come to teachertrainingvideos.com. Lots more free videos on working with Moodle. You can sign up to the newsletter if you want to keep up to date with all of the new content that I add on to the website, any videos that I add on to YouTube, etc., and any short courses that I'm running. If not, you can just click here. The section that you might find interesting is Moodle tutorials, where there's lots more tutorials, tutorials on working with Moodle, including some stuff on working with uh, quizzes in Moodle. Um, a very popular section is Russell's five minute blog. These are very short videos that just highlight some key technologies that you might like to make use of in your teaching and learning. There's also the 12 most popular videos. And if you really want to follow what I'm doing, please follow me on YouTube because I add lots of videos onto YouTube that I don't put onto the website. I hope you find the website useful and thank you very much.